Today in Clown World we are covering two stories. The first story is of an Allegiant Airlines passenger getting kicked off his flight because he had Let's Go Brandon written in tiny writing on his mask. The video was posted to Twitter by the account Libs of TikTok and starts with a man arguing with the flight attendant from Allegiant. The stewardess references the comment you've written on there in regard to the message on the mask. The video's caption alleges it was a Let's Go Brandon mask, a slogan mocking President Joe. Allegiant confirmed that the passenger was removed but claimed it was because he had disobeyed the flight attendant. Can I ask you for a different mask, please? Yeah, but can you tell me why it's your mask? Because there's a comment that you've written on there. I will not ask you to ask me to tell me how many posts So I'm going to ask you to put a different mask on or I'm going to ask you to put a different mask on. So it's not violation of my rights? It's, it's, this is an FAA regulation and I'm asking you to do it. That's great, but it's nice to be out there. No, I'm like, yeah, this is the time. Sir, I'm going to ask you to change your mask. Is this going to put the phone down? After watching the video, you can clearly hear her say because of the comment written on the mask. We cannot see the comment on the video, but regardless, isn't that freedom of speech? It looked like the certified N95 mask, and I doubt writing on it makes it less effective. In my opinion these flight attendants seem to be abusing their power for minor things. The second story is of Transformer swimmers Leah Thomas and Isaac Hennig who is competing as a woman and goes topless post fastest split times in relay race as Ivy League Women's Championships kick off four-day meet. Leah Thomas, a 22-year-old Transformer and 21-year-old Isaac Hennig swimming for Yale, swam the fastest splits on Wednesday night. Thomas swam for the men's team in the 2019 season, but began transitioning and has the required one year of testosterone suppression to compete as a woman. Hennig was born female and is transitioning to male, but has not yet began taking testosterone to enable continued competition in women's races. In my opinion, Hennig doesn't look like a woman and seeing it without a top doesn't bother me. She looks like a man already. I do think it is unfair for biological persons to have to compete with transformers. I think they should create a transformer category and let them compete there. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.